Another thing I don't understand is why people get a pair of hip boots like these, put them in the closet, and then wear them only as seldom as possible and only when absolutely necessary. That doesn't make any sense to me, especially when I discovered how amazingly comfortable these boots were. I wanted to wear them more often. I wanted to wear them as often as possible. So, when it's raining, whether it's a heavy rain or a little bit of rain, or even a drizzle, on come the hip boots. I also wear them when it's snowing. I wear them when the pavement is wet. I wear them when the pavement is snow covered. And I wear them when the pavement is muddy. So that adds up to quite a few bad weather events and basically whenever the event isn't nice and sunny I'm probably going to be wearing these boots. Rainy days, snowy days, the boots are going to be on. I also wear them for when I'm doing yard work, um, cleaning up the yard, pulling up weeds, raking, raking the lawn, um, raking up leaves, I wear them for those occasions as well. I wear them when I'm washing the car, I wear them when I'm watering the plants and watering the lawn. So I wear them quite a bit. Then I discovered that on the days that I wore the boots on my evening hike, that my feet and my legs seemed less... Then I discovered when I was running... Then I discovered when I was taking my evening hikes that my feet and my legs seemed less fatigued than on those evenings when I wore either my sneakers or my hiking boots. So I decided to do so I decided to do a test for several days each on the same route. I wore my sneakers and then my hiking boots and then these hip boots. And I was surprised at the results because they weren't even close. My feet and my legs were far less fatigued, even after several miles of walking on the days that I was wearing these hip boots. So, the question was, when I take my evening hike, is there any reason at all why I shouldn't wear the footwear that is by far the most comfortable for the hiking? And that was when I started wearing the hip boots regularly on my evening hike. So those are the primary times that I wear the hip boots. That's quite a bit of time, actually. But there is one more. And those are days like today, when it's bright and sunny. It's not wet outside. There's no weather forecast of bad weather coming up. But when I get dressed, I decide that instead of wearing a less comfortable pair of sneakers or a less comfortable pair of hiking boots, I'm going to put on these hip boots. Once when I was out taking a walk, a man stopped me to compliment me about the boots. And while we were talking, he said, you know, it can be difficult to find a pair of boots that's reasonably good looking, and it can be hard to find a pair of boots that's reasonably comfortable. And it can be really hard to find a pair of boots that's not only reasonably good looking, but also reasonably comfortable. And then he said it sounded like I had gotten the best of both worlds in these boots. Because these boots were not only, they were not just good looking boots, they were great looking boots. And in addition to that, as I said, they were amazingly comfortable. What more could you ask than that? So on days like this, when I decide to put the boots on instead of a pair of shoes or sneakers, I do it because the fact that they are so amazingly comfortable and also really good looking, great looking. Truth be told, I really enjoy it wear, when I wear these boots and I 
like to wear these boots and it's not an understatement to say I love to wear these boots. I love them because they are just so amazingly comfortable and it sort of becomes on days like this a little bit addictive. Every time I wear the boots for a day I realize just how much I loved it, just how much I enjoyed it and then I want to do it again as soon as possible. So I'm finding that more often now I am starting to wear the boots all day long on days that I don't need them because it's raining or snowing. And of course they're still great when those rainy days and snowy days come along. For sure I'll be wearing them then. So, bottom line, I love to wear these boots. I always wear them pulled all the way up. I always wear them as frequently as possible. And that's the best way to wear hip boots.